Okay. I think we can get started. So welcome everybody. Um, my name is Brian Kaskavalsian, G4 Marketing Group. And uh, today we are going to talk about a really important topic. And that is reviews. And um, more and more reviews are becoming critical. Like not even important anymore. This has become critical because people are going online and they want to know who you are. They want to know what other people have to say about you. They want to basically do their homework on you. And what they're doing is they're going and they're looking at these reviews online. So let's see here. So I like to ask this question, you know, what is your reputation worth to you? Now, there was a time, you know, for those of us that have been in business for more than 10 years, where reviews were really, it was just kind of one friend talking to another. Um, we used to say, so when, like when we had the franchise company and we used to do trainings with our franchisees, we used to tell them, Hey, look, you do a bad job for somebody. They're going to go tell, you know, as many people as they can possibly tell. If you do a good job for somebody, you got to work really hard to get them to tell somebody else. Right. And so today it's a little bit different because back then, how many people could they possibly go and tell? 10, 12, I mean, and back then that was, that was bad. We didn't want 12 people to know that we sucked. We didn't want 20 people to know that we did a bad job for somebody, right? We didn't want somebody in the neighborhood going around and telling all their neighbors, hey, these guys, the, don't use these guys, they're not any good. But those days are kind of behind us. Now there's a new dynamic. Now. It would be like, man, if they only told 10 people, we might be okay. But if you do a bad job for somebody or somebody has a bad experience with your company, what can they do? Well, they can go now to this thing called Google and Facebook and Yelp and Angie's List and a whole host of other places, and they can write in about their experience with your company. Good, bad, ugly, it's out there for people to see. So reviews, online reviews, have really become a critical component of a successful business today. I was gonna say home improvement business, but really it's any business, right? But everybody on the line today is in the home improvement, home services business, right? Here, this is kind of a staggering fact that and this is research done by Bright Local. And now what's interesting about this is that this is from this is from last year. So the new stuff hasn't even come out yet. But look at that number. 92% of consumers are regularly checking reviews. Right? And this has grown steadily every year. Right? I don't know how much higher it can go than 92, because that's pretty damn, you know, that's pretty damn close to everybody. Right. So today, kind of the dynamic, what's happening is people are going online and they are searching out your company. Right. So they might see an ad. They might see um, uh, a newspaper ad, a magazine ad. They might see a TV commercial. They might hear about you from somebody else. Well, then they're going to go online and they're going to look up your company right in your market they want to see what other people have to say about you now the interesting thing is now keep something in mind they don't know who these other people are nor does it really matter at this point which on the one hand is a little scary but on the other hand it's the reality so we all have to deal with it right they're looking for social signals. They're looking for what recent customers are saying about you online. Right? They want to know what the experience was. Now, the power of positive reviews is that 
all of these people, you know, most everybody is going to the internet and they're looking for these reviews. And so your reviews need to be good reviews. In fact, they need to be great reviews. Now, I tell this story uh, when I do when I do live workshops, and I, I I can't demonstrate it, but now I can. Here it is. Okay, so um, this was back in uh, February of last year. I was looking for this little thing that clamps on to that clamps onto the iPhone, right? And you can put it onto a tripod so you could use so you could use the camera. Right, and you can put the 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 uh, camera or the iPhone on a on a tripod and use it like you know a video camera. So check out how much this thing was. Eight bucks, seven ninety five. All right, two thousand eight hundred and ninety four customer reviews, eighty one answered questions, eighty one, eighty one questions about this stupid little thing by the way I don't have it anymore I can't show it to you because it broke but that's besides the point the thing was only eight bucks but here's the point I went online and I looked at the reviews and I looked at the questions because I wanted to make sure that if I'm ordering this thing I'm getting the right thing right now what I didn't ask is how long is it gonna last but that's another story but if I did that for an eight dollar item what are people doing for eight thousand 10,000, 12,000 for a roof, for windows, for siding, for bathrooms, for plumbers, for age. What are they doing? They want to go online and they want to make sure that they aren't the only one, that they're not going to have a bad experience. They want to know what was the experience with other people, right? And that's the importance of reviews. Now, what they're also looking for, so first they want to know, do you have reviews? The other thing they're looking at is what is your star rating? What is your star rating? Okay, so obviously the higher, the better. The higher, the better. Now again, we know from research that the more stars that you're getting, the more customers you're gonna get. The more customers you're gonna get because of the numbers that we see here. You know, only 27% of users will you or I'm sorry, 27% of consumers are going to use your business if you have a two-star rating. Only 27%. But when you get up to four stars, you're at 92%. So if we do the math over here, that's three and a half times more people. Right? Now look, if you've got one star down here, 13%, ooh, no good. You're in trouble. At least online. And here's the thing. Here's the thing about doing business today. You can't hide from online. What's gonna happen is, if you are not there, first off, which some people aren't, which is crazy, but if you are not there, you're gonna lose business to somebody that is, more than likely. If you are there, you better make sure you look damn good compared to everybody else, because they're going to be judging you against the other people as well, right? So I did a search here in my local market. So this is kind of what it looks like when you go online, you do a search. I did roofing company in Miami. And here's what I got. Here's one, uh, one of the listings that I got. So this company, 4.3 rating, five Google reviews. On the, the second thing that shows up in there in, in, in this listing for these guys, same company, is their Yelp reviews. Look at this. One star, two reviews. Now, the other thing th th that's really interesting here, and I know how a lot of you feel about Yelp, and I don't blame you, but this person that left this review didn't even use the company. All they're doing is complaining that they were the most expensive, they gave them the most expensive quote. They didn't even work with them and they're reviewing them, right? Look at this company, same search, Miami Roofing Contractor. Look at this, 4.9 rating, 140 Google reviews. 
The second thing that comes up for this company is Facebook. 4.7 rating, 44 votes. They call it votes, not reviews, but still it shows up as a star rating. Now, the question is, who's getting more leads? Who's getting more leads? I mean, it's got to be this company, right? Who would you choose? If you're going and searching, you're looking online, who are you going to choose? This company has an advantage. Now, you may or may not. Um, There's some interesting things. I know both of these companies. Okay, One of them has been in the market forever for a long time, 20 plus years, maybe even 30 years. No, 20 plus years. This one hasn't been in the market that long. The owner of this company goes to this guy for advice, right? The thing is, is that now, nowadays, you being in business for 20 years, 30 years, whatever, doesn't, it's not as, how do I say it without offending people? Yeah, I'm going to offend you. It, it's not as a big a deal as it used to be because of perception. Because online, I could go in, I could be a two-year-old company and have 20 Google reviews against your five or four or whatever, and I'm going to look bigger and I'm going to look better than you. Your 25 years doesn't mean anything. Because right here, we're looking at it. Here's the proof. This company hasn't even been around 10 years. This one's been around 20, 20 plus, I think it's 25 years. This one looks bigger and better and better than this one. And this is happening in everywhere. Okay? So beyond the obvious advantages, your online reputation also serves as your 27 24-7 advertising, getting the word out about your company. So when your customers and prospects are searching online, right, they're, they're looking, and they're doing this 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Now, the interesting thing is, is that they're looking at, you know, they're looking at all of this stuff, and they're going to give it, more importance and more weight than any of the content that you could put out yourself. Any content that you could put out yourself. So if you're doing blog posts, if you're doing information for people on your, on your website, that's all great. But if you don't have reviews, they don't care about that stuff. They're going to trust the reviews more than what you're putting out, what content you're putting out. This kind of goes goes back to the whole thing about, you know, using testimonials and reviews is that what somebody else says about you is a thousand times more powerful than what you say about yourself, right? It's the same same kind of deal here. Right? And and remember, the internet does not turn off ever. It's on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It doesn't shut down like, you know, when your business shuts down at 5.30 or 6 o'clock in the afternoon. People are looking, okay? So what I want to help you do here today is how do you build a, how do you build a five-star review um, success plan? Okay, I'm calling it a marketing plan, but let's really call it what it is. It's a success plan. You've got to have a system in place for getting five-star reviews online. It is, again, a critical component of success in today's world. You can't avoid this. You cannot avoid this. I, 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 I mean, I guess, look, you can avoid this, but you're just not going to, your business is just not going to be anywhere near as successful as it can be, right? So there's four steps to this process. There's four steps. And where we're really kind of going to spend the most time is in number one, building a five-star reputation. But it's number one, build a five-star reputation. Two, it's manage that five-star reputation. Three, it's market 
that five-star reputation. And then four, it's monitor and maintain that uh, five-star reputation. So starting with number one, number one is building your five-star reputation. So I say all the time, that a satisfied customer, merely having a satisfied customer today is a liability. It's a liability. What you need to do today is create raving fans. Now, here's what I mean by it being a liability. Okay? Business is about process. Business is about systems. And if you have a system in place to create a satisfied customer, a satisfied customer then that's what you got you got a system for creating a satisfied customer but let me ask you something how excited is a satisfied customer to go online to go to Google to sign in hit the star thing and then write a review for you how excited are they if they're just satisfied they're not very they're not very excited how excited are they to go spread the word about you to their friends and family how excited are they to come back and give you more money? They're satisfied. Now here's the other thing, is if your system is set up to satisfy a customer, so everything works in kind of like continuums, right? So you've got raving fan over here, you've got pissed off angry customer over here, right? Somewhere in the middle is your satisfied customer. Well, let's just say that one of your installers not having a great day. He was friendly, he was nice, just wasn't having a good day. And the customer felt it. And the customer was like, mm, God, I just don't feel right today about this, whatever's going on. Now they went from, yeah, I'm satisfied, right? Let's say satisfied. But now they're kind of on this side of satisfied. They're not unhappy, but they're like, you know, go. You know, they're glad to see you go. Whereas, if you have a system for creating a raving fan, a system for creating a raving fan, now, let's say that something's a little bit off. Well, now you go from having a raving fan to having somebody that's just really happy about the service you provided for them. Can you make everybody, every single customer, a raving fan? No, absolutely not. But, but if you have a system in place for creating raving fans versus a system in place for creating a satisfied customer, chances are much better, chances are much better that you're going to have more excited people, more people that will want to go online and give you a positive review, will want to refer you to others, will want to come back and do more business with you. Right? So it's about creating that raving, raving fan. Now, again, every single customer is not going to be a raving fan. That's okay. But what we don't want, again, if this is the continuum, and we're shooting for this, we're shooting for absolute raving fan, and we're a little bit off, we're still in really, really happy territory. If we're starting in the middle... Right? So how do you do this? So it's all about the customer experience. And you've heard me talk, if you've been on any of my webinars, you've heard me talk about this before. So we're not going to spend a ton of time on it. However, we need to spend a little bit of time on it. We've got to be thinking about the customer experience. From every, every interaction that that customer has with you has to be a wow experience. The end goal of the interaction between you and your customer needs to be, regardless of whether it's on the phone, it's in person, it's an installer, it's one of your people, it's a salesperson, it doesn't matter. The customer, the customer needs to leave that experience thinking, wow, these guys are awesome. Wow, you wouldn't believe how professional these guys. Wow, you wouldn't believe how clean these guys were. Wow, you wouldn't believe how friendly they were. Wow, you wouldn't believe how they took care of my problem. Wow, 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 wow. Throughout, okay? 
It's about the customer experience. So from that first call all the way through job completion and beyond, you've got to be thinking about and executing on an exceptionally memorable experience. Now, I call it an exceptionally memorable experience. You can call it whatever you want. Just make sure it's exceptional and make sure it's memorable. All right? Now, the way that you do this, the way that you do this is first, you've got to design that experience. And yes, I use that word purposely. You have to design it. It's like anything else. It's a system that you have to build. Right? And so the best way to do this is to go through the process of being a prospect in your business or being a customer in your business. Now, what I like to do is I don't want to necessarily recreate anything. I want to go learn from people that are already doing this well. Right? And so when it comes to customer experience, when it comes to repeat business and referrals, there was a master, an absolute master, and here he is, Walt Disney, absolute master at getting people to come back and give him more money and going home and telling all of their friends about how amazing their experience was. Now, Walt did this all by design. On the screen here, you see his law of unlimited abundance. And it's very simple. Do what you do so well that when people see you do it, they want to see you do it again. Think about that. Do what you do so well that when people see you do it, when your customers see you doing it, they want to see you do it again. That's your formula for repeat business. They want to have a contractor back in their house. They can't wait until they have the money to have you come back and do another project, right? For most contractors, though, this is not the case. It's the opposite. What can we do to get these people out of here as fast as possible and never see them again? You don't want to be that company. You want to be the company that wants that whose customers want them to come back. That's the first part. The second part of this is, and will bring others to see you do it. And will bring others to see you do it. That's referrals, right? And he uses bring others to see you do it, right? So that's all about referrals. So it's all about creating an experience that's so amazing that they want to see you do it again and that they want to send other people to you. Now think about Disney. Think about Disney. Everything that they do there is designed around the guest experience, the people, the cleanliness. It's a marketing strategy, by the way, for them. That place is so clean. And what do people say when they go home? You wouldn't believe how clean this place is. By the way, you know, and I can I can go for an hour just on this, and I won't. I can actually go for a day on this. I, I won't. Um, I would recommend, where am I? Um, anyway, I just go to Amazon and put in um, Disneyland, behind the scenes of Disneyland, and you'll see a couple of great books there. Just get the highest rated ones with the highest reviews. And read a couple books about Disneyland and about how Disneyland was created. It wasn't the first theme park. There were theme parks before. There were amusement parks before. But Walt did it a little bit different. Walt did it a little bit different. All right? So when it comes to designing a customer experience, this is your guy. This is who can help you put it together. Okay? This is another great company to look at. So a big part of home improvements, home services, is on the phone, is on the phone. And it amazes me how bad most companies are on the phone. Horrible. You want to learn from the company that gets it on the phone, here's your company, Zappos. 
Zappos. Now, Tony wrote a great book, the guy that's, that, um, he didn't start Zappos, actually. Uh, Tony Shea was an investor in, in Zappos. He wrote a great book called Delivering Happiness. I strongly recommend that book, Delivering Happiness. But look, if you want to learn about how to deal with people on the phone, call Zappos. And here's what I tell people to do all the time, is call up. They're one of the few e-commerce websites that has the phone number right up at the top, right up at the top. Call that number. Call that number and say something like this. I'm looking for a pair of shoes. That's it. That's all you're saying. I'm looking for a pair of shoes and see what happens and see what happens, all right? Because what the way that they deal with you on the phone is really kind of magical. I mean, what they do, and it's all by design. It's all by design. So I can't go into the whole story, but when Tony was an investor in this business, when he came in, he realized, man, this was back in the dot-com time. You know, there's all of these co other companies out there that are trying to get online and sell shoes online. And he realized that, man, we don't have the money to compete against these guys for, you know, pay-per-click and, and banner ads and whatever everybody was doing, you know, 20 years ago online. So what he said was, we're going to take our marketing dollars and we're going to put it into our customers. And we're going to let them do the selling for us. And that's exactly what happened. In fact, Zappos was sold to a little company called Amazon for over a billion dollars just a few years ago. And there aren't very many shoe retailers that are, you know, online shoe retailers like Zappos left anymore, okay? So phone, learn from Zappos. How your crews and how your people interact with your customers Here's the company to learn from, the Ritz-Carlton. Now, one of the coolest things about the Ritz-Carlton is they have this motto or mantra, and that is, we are ladies and gentlemen serving ladies and gentlemen. What's really cool about this is that regardless of where you are in the hierarchy of the Ritz-Carlton organization, whether you're the general manager or you're the dishwasher that works in the bowels of the hotel. You are a lady or gentleman serving ladies and gentlemen. It puts everybody at an equal playing field. How many times do you go places? How many times even ask yourself this, do your installers or do your plumbers or do your HVAC people feel like they're less than your customer is. Now, they may not be able to say this out loud to you. They may not even know that this is going on. But how many times in the back of their minds are they thinking, oh, man, look how rich these people are. And, oh, look how cool this house. Oh, I could never have a house like this. And, oh, all that head trash that goes on. Well, the Ritz-Carlton has a beautiful way of getting past that. And that is by telling their people, you also are ladies and gentlemen. You're not any, they're not any better than you. It's just that your job is to serve them. Our job is to serve them. I, and I thought, man, that's really cool. That's really cool. Because a lot of, let's face it, you know, a lot of our installers, a lot of our people that are going out in the trucks and doing they can't afford the houses that you guys go and do work in. They just can't unless something changes in their lives. And so how does that come off to the customer? How does that come off in the interaction with the customer? So it's really great about, and what I recommend doing is go to a Ritz-Carlton. I'm sure there's one in your market or somewhere close. Do a field trip. Do a field trip. Go and hang out in the lobby. Go sit in the lobby, order a tea, order a coffee, and just sit there and hang out for a while. Read a book, take something with you, and just hang out. And watch the interaction with the people that work there and the guests. In fact, get up and walk around, and here's something that you will find. Every staff member will look you in the eyes, 
and they will say to you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. They will look you right in the eye. In fact, they are not walking around with their heads down with somewhere to go. They're looking up. They're, who needs help? Who needs help? We're here about the guest. We're here to serve, ladies and gentlemen. So we need to be on the lookout. Does anybody need serving? What if you took that concept and brought it to your company with your installers, with your people that are going and dealing with your customers? It will make for a much different experience, but this requires, like I said before, this requires design, this requires Call Zappos. Call Zappos. Learn how they do it. Okay? Make sure you have scripting in place for your people. Make sure that your people understand that they are, ladies and gentlemen, serving ladies and gentlemen. That when somebody calls, when somebody calls, it is not a disruption of their work. It's not an interruption of their day. It's about stop, focus, Deal with prospect, deal with customer. When a prospect calls in, what's the goal? The goal is to convert that prospect into an appointment. Right? It's not about selling the company. It's not about selling the job. It's about converting that prospect into an appointment. If a customer calls in, what is that all about? It's about solving that customer's problem right then and there. Answering their question right then and there. One of the things, too, about the Ritz-Carlton that's very cool is every single employee is empowered to solve guest problems. They are empowered to solve a guest's problem. Okay? I forgot what the number is. A few years ago, it was 250 bucks. It was up to this amount that they didn't have to get permission from anybody. Anybody. They could just go and solve that problem. Do you have something like that in place in your company? Are your people empowered to solve problems? Okay. So the phone has a lot of, there's, again, that could be, the phone itself could be a whole webinar in and of itself. The purpose of this webinar just, you know, is how do we get more reviews online, you know? And so it's about the customer experience, okay? So the in-home presentation, this is another place that is, is critical, it's key. This is one of the first times that you are, probably the first time you are entering this person's home. So what is that like? How, is your, how does your person show up? Is there a uniform? What do they walk in with? Are they walking with, in with a whole bunch of, of, of crap, you know, of, you know, and samples and books and all of this stuff? Or are they walking in neat, clean, professional? By the way, little trick, I can't believe that more of you aren't doing this. What about shoe covers? When your people are at the door, this was huge for us. When we had, we had one of the largest handyman companies in the country. And when Before the handyman walked in the door, he put on his shoe covers. He put on his shoe covers. Um, somebody said the audio went out. Is that, I don't know how long ago that was. Is it still out? Okay, great. Thank you. Um, uh, will be, somebody's asking, it is working. Only went out for a second. Okay, great. So in-home presentation, having a, um, having a uniform, having a, um, having a process that you go through looking neat, looking professional, right? Installation, installation. So your crews show up on the day of installation. Is there a process for that? What does that process look like? 
right? Do they have scripts? So your people that are working the job, have the customer approaches them, do they know what they are supposed to say? What about going in the house? Do your people go in the house? So if you're a plumbing HVAC company, you're going in the house. If you're installing windows or bathrooms, you're going in the house. But if you're a roofing company, are you going in the house? If you're working on the outside of the house, where do your people go to the bathroom? How does that work? You know, Are you asking people to go into their house to use their bathroom? By the way, if you are, is there a process for that? That would scare the hell out of me. Are people going in and using uh, a customer's bathroom? That scares me, unless I had a process for it. And then finally, there's post-project, post-project follow-up, right? How are we saying thank you? How are we getting their feedback? How are we getting their reviews? How are we getting referrals? How are we getting repeat business from them? What are we doing in post-project follow-up? Right? Are we saying thank you? I mean, that's one of the things that we do here. We send out you know, we send out a big thank you box, right? When they open this up inside, there's a jar of cookies in there, right? There's a thank you card. There's a thank you card in there. At a minimum, send them a thank you card. Got to make them feel special. Got to make them feel like, hey, we picked the right company. These are, these are the people. This is my contractor. This is who I trust. So at the end of the day, always remember this. People are not going to remember what you said. They may remember what you did, but what they're really going to remember is how you made them feel. How did you make them feel? Now, feeling is much more kind of subjective, isn't it? Because how do you know, right? How do they know even what's going on? Sometimes we have feelings that we don't even understand. We just, we're like, Hmm, I'm uncomfortable. Or your guy going to the bathroom in the house, it's like, hmm. They may not say it. They might not come out and say, oh, that was weird. Your guy went into the bathroom and he did this and he did, and I think he left it dirty. About They just feel a little bit off. They just don't feel right about it. That's what you got to be careful of. And that's why you got to design the experience. And I'm serious about this. I mean, when we were running, we were running over 100 Handyman. And at any given point, we had 30, 40 guys in somebody's house at any given moment. Right? We're in that many houses. We had to make an impression. We had to have a system so that when they were there, they weren't screwing up. They weren't destroying our reputation. They weren't destroying our relationship with the customer. They weren't destroying the trust and the confidence that we were trying to build with that customer. Right? Same exact deal. Right? People are not going to remember what you said. They're going to remember how you made them feel. So customer experience drives referrals and word of mouth. Repeat business. It drives premium pricing, which is a subject for another day, and more online reviews. Because again, who's more likely to go online and leave you a positive review? Somebody that's thrilled, that had an amazing experience with you, or somebody that's just like, okay, they did what they said they were going to do, I gave them the check, and they're done, and they're gone. Who's more likely? Right? This guy's more likely. <laughs> raving fan alright so that's the experience part the second part is managing your five star reputation so right now right now online these are kind of the big three places you need reviews you need them on Google that's number one number one Yelp I'm not gonna get into the whole Yelp thing I know most of you me included, are not fans of Yelp. We don't understand the algorithm and blah, 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 and whatever. But it's necessary. Okay? As you saw in the example that I showed you before, it was for, for my search for Roofing Miami, you had them and then you had Yelp as the second listing that was there. 
And then the third one, believe it or not, is Facebook. Now, I'm not telling you go and advertise on Facebook and drive all of your people to Facebook. I'm not telling you that. But what I am telling you is that Facebook is showing up and people are seeing it in the feed or, or in the search results. And so, and there is a star system there. Okay. So you've got to be looking also at Facebook. But the big one right now is you've got to look and see how many Google reviews do I have. And if you're low, and that's, I mean, depending on the size of your company, um, if you're anywhere under 10 right now, you're in trouble. You need reviews on Google, okay? Market your five-star reputation. How do you market your five-star reputation? So are you using your reviews your feedback on your website. Because what you don't want is when somebody does land on your website, you want them to have the information there, right? You want them to have the information there. You don't want them going off and looking for the information somewhere else. So do you have a tab on your website that's specifically for testimonials, reviews, feedback, whatever it happens to be? Are you using your um, reputation in your ads are you using it in your sales presentations so again that's another topic for another day but hey if you've got the reviews use them right and then finally is do you have a system for monitoring your reputation online do you have a system you know there are a number of systems out there I'm gonna show you ours in a few minutes and just so you could see how it works. Um, and for some of you, you may be interested in it as a solution, right? So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how we do it. This is how we do it for our clients. And at the end, if it's something that you're interested in, I'm gonna make you an offer, you know? If it's right for you, great, you'll want it. If it's not though, don't lose out on the information that I'm about to show you. Because all of this stuff is what you need in order to build that, uh, those reviews online. So one of the first things that we do is we ask people for their feedback, for their feedback. So we don't go straight for the review. Here's why. What if it's a bad review? What if the people weren't happy? I want to know about that ahead of time, right? And so we have a number of different ways. So we send emails. We can use text messaging to make this happen. We send out, when we send out a thank you card or a thank you gift, we use a, um, um, a postcard inside of there that says that asks for feedback. When they hit any of those links and they go to our platform, here, again, we're just asking for their feedback. Put in your name, put in your email, put in your phone, and then rate us on a star system, on a star system, right? So I wanna use the same thing that Google uses. I wanna use what they are already familiar with, but also you'll see in a second, how do we take this and easily adapt it into Google, Yelp, or Facebook, right? So in our system, we have a thing what we call intelligent routing. What this means is, is that depending on the number of stars that we get on the feedback, remember, this is on the feedback, depending on the number of stars that we get, that's going to determine where they go next. So if they give us, like in this case, five stars, they're gonna to go to a page that looks like this, where we've got a video of an actress that basically says, hey, we, we're, we're so glad that we exceeded your expectations. Would you help us by posting your feedback on one of our review sites? And we could put in here, we can program it so we can put in whatever we wanna put in here, right? But the point here is that we're not just sending them straight to reviews. Now, if you're a small company and you're working one-on-one -on -one with your customers and it's just you, you can do that. Just tell them, here's the link, 
have them go there, and if you're confident that they're going to give you a good review, have at it. But if you're like most of our clients, you're not working always one-on-one -on -one with every single client. You've got people, you've got production, you've got trucks, you know, you've got people out there. So what you've got to be able to do is you've got to be able to have a system where you're going to get that feedback first, and then based on that feedback, if it's the right feedback, then you're going to ask them to go post that online. So again, four or five stars goes to that place. But what happens if somebody gives us a negative, right? If it's one, two, or three stars? Well, if it's one, two, or three stars, we want to know how could we, have, how could we improve? What did we do, do wrong? Now, the actress is there again in the video, and this time she's very apologetic. She's like, oh, you know, like we want to make this right, okay? And so what happens is right there, it, the system stops. We're not going, we're not asking them, take now your crappy review and put it on, on, on uh, Google. We're stopping the process right there, all right? Because what we're trying to do is really minimize this, the impact that this negative feedback could have on your business, okay? Now, the way that you're going to get the information, you need to know this stuff right away. So again, in our system, you're going to get immediate alerts. You get um, email, you can get a text message, whatever system you use. I mean, whether you use mine or you use, I just want you to use something, okay? You don't have to use mine. But what I'm saying is that you need to have something in place that lets you know when you got good feedback, but also, more importantly, lets you know somebody's not happy. And then, of course, you've got to get on that right away, right away. The minute you get that feedback, you've got to be on the phone back to them to fix the problem, okay? Then you can push them back through your system again and make sure their feedback is now strong. And then when they give you strong feedback, then we push them right online, okay, to Google. Now, we have a really cool new SMS system, texting, where right there, right out in the field, we give you a little... Thing that looks like this um, for your company you click on that and it opens up your either in your iPad or on your phone and you just put in your customers information here their phone number you hit the check in button and boom they get a text message they hit that link on the text and it opens up your feedback platform feedback not reviews yet remember because we want to make sure that if they had a good experience, we send them one way. If they had a bad experience, they go another way. So in this case, with good experience, we deliver to them the apps that are available. Google, um, I don't know if you know this, but Google Reviews is tied to the Google Maps. So if they have the Google Map app on their phone, they hit that, and boom, it automatically opens it up for them. What we're trying to do here is make the process easy because a lot of people don't want to leave for reviews. I'm not a big review guy. You know, I hate to admit it, but I'm not. You know, I really need to be inspired to take the time to go online and to leave a review. It takes a few minutes, takes some time, right? Um, if you had a bad experience again, it stops, the process stops, same way with the SMS system. Now, there's all kinds of different ways that you can um, use this. So we, we put it on our clients' websites, you know, how did we do, submit your feedback, we're sending out cards, we're using texting, we're using emails. By the way, you gotta have a whole system for this. You gotta hit your customer every way you can hit them so that you can get this information. That's how critical it is for your business success. Um, we give you access to a back office, so there's reports and things that um, are there. This is something really important. So whatever, again, you could use my system, great, I'll welcome you, you know? But regardless, this is not only about you using my system, this is about how do you get more reviews so you'll sell more jobs, make more leads, and make more money, okay? 
Now look, I, before I told you about using these reviews on your website. So look, this is a client of ours, Kitchen Saver. You go to their tab on their website, testimonials, and here is what's going to show up. You know, their reviews. This is a live feeder that's feeding the reviews into their system, right? So the reviews are right here. There's 70 reviews that their customers can go or their prospects can go and read right here right on the site so they don't have to go off the site and go somewhere else because we don't want them off your website we want them to stay on your website until they pick up the phone and call or fill out a form on your site okay so it's not only about getting the reviews but it's also about how do you use those reviews so you'll get more leads so you'll make more sales and you'll make more money um, we also set up a, a microsite. This is part of, of our system where there's a set system for um, collecting the reviews online. This is a separate web property that is, is set up for you. Um, we also have the ability to post your reviews on Facebook. Um, so this is one that we did. This was just a few days ago. Um, but we do regular postings to like Aries. Aries is a client of ours. We'll do regular postings on their um, Facebook. They've got a lot of Facebook stuff going on. Look, I'm not a huge fan of Facebook. I'm not telling you to advertise on Facebook. I'm not telling you to spend a lot of time on Facebook. But it, we have a system for automatically putting that those reviews onto Facebook so that when people go through your your stream they'll see it um, but not something I would spend a whole lot of time on but it's a nice plus um, same thing with Google Plus we do the same thing we share those reviews on Google Plus um, now here's a little bit of you know before and after so this was um, this was about a year and half ago maybe um, this is when this is what we started with this is when we first started to use our authentic feedback system with our clients um, Aries was okay um, 4.5 stars 13 Google reviews but they are the top company in their market 13 Google reviews is okay but um, they needed more and so within a relatively short period of time, we went from a 4.5 to a 4.8. We went from 13 reviews to 32 reviews. Now, I pulled this yesterday, I think, and we're at 4.8, and we're up to 59 reviews. Now, if you look at the page here, so this is really important, okay? Look at, look at the search terms that I used so take your company name and your city and put it into your web browser put it into Google what you should get on the right hand side is this right this area this this it takes up the whole right hand side this is Google local if you do not have this set up and you're paying a web company Fire them or call them right now and tell them where the hell is my Google local page, okay? This is where also your Google reviews are going to live. So if you look at, look at how when you put an Aries Roofing Tampa, look at this. They have the whole first page is them. They've got reviews here. Look, even on Yelp, they're okay, right? 13 reviews on Yelp, 4.2 rating. That's one of the better ones that I've seen. Okay, Facebook, look at this, 76 votes, right? So we're driving people to all of these different places, giving them all the different opportunities to do that. But these guys now dominate. There's, I don't think there's another company in their market that's got anywhere near 59 Google reviews. That's domination online, okay? So, um, Real quick here, if anybody's got questions, now is the time to ask me. Um, I try and keep these uh, webinars to about an hour. I'm going to take just a minute or two and um, 
show you authentic feedback. Of course, I've got an offer for you if it's something that you're interested in. Uh, but I'm also here to answer any of your questions. I'll stay longer. I just want to make sure that you guys are, you know, you have the ability to bump out at, at, at the one hour mark. Um, so with authentic, with our authentic feedback platform, here's everything that you are going to get from us. First, we set up a custom platform for one location in your business. We do the postcard design and setup. These are cards that you can pass out, give to people um, on job sites that drive them back to your um, authentic feedback um, uh, pages. Uh, or system. Um, email feedback requests, so once you put somebody into the system, when you put your customers into the system, um, we will, our system will automatically send them three to five requests um, for feedback. We'll get that set up for you. Um, we will set up your feedback and review notification via email and text messaging. Um, we will give you the feedback and review plug-in for streaming on your website. Uh, we will set up a local review micro site for you like I showed you. We'll do your social media posting with your reviews. And um, this really includes unlimited feedback and unlimited uh, reviews. Plus, plus, you get the new SMS texting platform as part of this. Um, regular investment $499 to set up, one time setup, and only $249 per month. Uh, now, what's cool about this is it comes with what I call a better than risk free guarantee. Try it out for 60 days. If for any reason whatsoever you're not happy with it, or you don't like the system, or you don't like us, just let us know and we will give you every penny of your money back. The setup, the monthly, everything, no risk whatsoever. If you get any feedback, if you get any reviews, you get to keep those, those are yours. All right? So um, again, we'll set up the pl platform for you. We'll do the postcard setup for you. We'll set up the email and the automated system for that. Um, review notification. Um, the uh, feedback and review plugin for your website, your local review microsite. We'll, we will do the social media posting for you. We'll set it up so that you can do that. Um, unlimited feedback and reviews plus the SMS platform. Um, of course, I'm going to make you a better offer than this. Um, so instead of $4.99, um, $2.99, but you got to do this by the end of the week. Um, $2.99 setup, and then instead of the monthly fee being $2.49, it's only $1.97. $1.97. Okay, and um, the URL at the bottom, it's a funky one, tiny, T I N Y dot C C. Yes, there's no dot com in it, it's just dot C C, tiny dot C C, forward slash authentic feedback, all one word. And we'll send you a link out. Um, to that as as well. Um, if you have any questions, we're happy to answer uh, any questions for you. You can call us here at 305-856-8788 and set up a meeting with uh, Addy or with Jamie and uh, we'd be happy to kind of walk you through the system if you need to see more. Um, but this is really, it's a simple very easy to use system um, for getting more feedback and reviews from your customer. But now there's still a lot of you left. So here's what I'm going to do. I mean, I'm, let me just run back through over this just as a quick review. So number one, you've really got to think about this as it, it, it's a critical component of your success in your business. So number one is it's all about creating raving fans. It's all about that customer experience. So what are you doing in your business to create raving fans? Number one. Number two is what are you doing to um, manage that five-star, um, your, your five-star reviews? 
So do you have systems in place for collecting those? Do you have systems in place for dealing with the negative feedback? Right? Negative feedback. You gotta have a system in place. You gotta get to those people right away. Um, three is how are you marketing that? How are you using that information to help you get more leads, to help you close more jobs, to help you make more money? Put the information on your website, use it in your sales presentations, right? Um, and then finally, how are you monitoring and maintaining that reputation? Worst case scenario, look, if you don't have a system like ours, just make sure that your Google local page is set up. So I showed you what that looks like. It's what shows up on the right hand side of the page, the Google page, okay? And so you gotta have that set up. And um, once, when that's set up, you can then, every time somebody posts a review, you can set that up so that you'll get an email alert that, hey, somebody has posted a review on Google. Okay, that'll come back to you. Um, so that is that's if you don't have that set up, you need to get that set up like yesterday. Okay, if you don't have a web company, just um, and you're on your own, just go um, look at Google Local. I think is how you do it. Um, just go to Google Local, um, claim your business, and then fill in all of the information um, for your for your business. Um, on the three to five emails asking for feedback, will the email stop once they've provided feedback? Yes, if it's just through this system, yes, it does. Any other questions? You are very welcome. Well, I hope that I hope this was a value to um, all of you. I know there's still a lot of you on um, on the, the 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 webinar today. I appreciate you being here again. I hope that this was a value to you. Um, one of the things that uh, let me see, I was looking for the book. Yeah, I can't. I can't put my eye on it yet. Um, but again, great books to look at. Anything Walt Disney and Disneyland setup. Um, call Zappos. Call them. Zappos.com. Z-a-p-p-o-s.com. Call them. I'm looking for a pair of shoes. Uh, yeah, we got like a million of them. That's not what they're going to tell you, by the way. Um, what else? Um, Oh, get Tony Shea's book, Delivering Happiness, great book. Um, but that's really more stuff about the customer experience because that's really where all of this starts. You're not going to get good feedback and you're not going to give get reviews if you don't just have an amazing customer experience that people want to talk about, that people want to brag about, that people want they, they want to say, man, these guys were so awesome. They treated us so well that I, I, I want to do something for you. And leaving a review is not for them. It's all for us. That's for us, right? Keep that in mind. So you've got to deliver. You've got to be so good. You've got to be so good that they want to do something for you. Not only give you the money, but they want to do something that's going to help you with your business. And that's what the review is going to do for you, all right? So um, again, uh, we we uh, we we are grateful for uh, you guys being here. Um, if you want to, by the way, if you're still here and you've got ideas for topics for future webinars, we do these about once a month. Um, I believe the first Wednesday. I think today is the first Wednesday. It is first Wednesday of the month. I think that's the schedule we try and follow, unless I'm traveling or I'm going to be somewhere else. 
Um, but if you have ideas for topics, if you have things that you'd like us to dive deeper on, um, I'm happy to do that. Um, just let me know what those topics are, and we'll look at it and uh, see if we can't get that scheduled in. All right, everybody, thank you very much. We'll have the replay of this if you need to show it to anybody else or would like to go through it again. We'll have the replay up by the end of the week. Um, this uh, authentic feedback offer today is Wednesday. It's noon. It's lunchtime. Um, this offer is good until Friday afternoon, uh, 5 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, take advantage of this. Um, you will get set up. Um, we will contact you right after you fill out the form. We will contact you, um, get you with uh, Yanni in our office, who's awesome pro at getting these set up and working with you to really boost your feedback and reviews. And uh, we'd love to work with you. If you don't work with us, that's fine too. Just make sure you're doing something. Please, make sure you're doing something. You're working way too hard. And, um, you know, if, if you're not making the money that you should be making, there's leaks in your business or, you know, I, I want to help you maximize it and get everything that you can out of your business. Um, anyway, so uh, thanks again, and uh, I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye now.